Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, poisoned pawn variation accepted, 10.f5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. Bg5 puts immediate threatens the knight on f6, white may castle queen side after developing the queen. E6 controls the important d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. f4 gains space in the center, controls the e5 square, and prepares to develop the queen to f3 behind the f pawn. Qb6 develops the queen, attacks the knight on d4 and unpins the knight of f6. Qd2 develops the queen and prepares queenside castling. QXB2 captures the B2 pawn and attacks the rook on a 1. RB1 attacks the queen and takes control of the half open B file. QA3 moves the attacked queen to the only square where it will not be captured. F5 attacks the pawn on E6 and allows the queen on D2 to protect the bishop on G5. It is the last book move. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now suitably protected. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. This is the way to win a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a miss. Backs off. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. 
Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. This poses a knight winning threat. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is quite good. This evades the check from the pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This is a poor choice for rook safety movement. That falls flat. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses an opportunity to capture a free pawn. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It's compelled. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It's compelled. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This ignores a more effective approach to sidestep the enemy knight's check. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from winning a bishop. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is incorrect. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. 
This ignores a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. It is an inaccuracy. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game.